Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going on a pilgrimage to visit a bunch of the Stranger Things filming locations in Georgia. First up is the kids' houses. The neighborhood was really pretty and obviously gave a lot of Stranger Things vibes. I'm sure that this is where they filmed a lot of their bike scenes. The Wheeler house has a private property sign in front of it and I think there's actual people living in these houses since the interiors were all filmed at a studio. The Wheeler, Henderson, and Sinclair home are all in the same neighborhood, walking distance, in East Point, Georgia, but the buyer's house is half an hour away in Fayetteville and is actually really small and abandoned looking. It's pretty desolate and the main road to get to it was blocked off when I went, so we had to go down this creepy little one-way road. Hawkins High is in Stockbridge and was at one point a real school. The Eddie Shrine in front of the school was blocked off when I went in November of last year, but people had signed all over the doors and walls, so definitely bring your Sharpie here. While you can see through some of the windows, the majority are blocked off by black painted wood, and there's cameras all over the inside. When I went, there was some sort of like religious group renting out the space, and they started asking us to leave once more people arrived, but luckily I had already been around the whole building by then. Behind the gym, there was even these two cans of paint that they used.
There was a bunch of bricks by the Steve and Nancy alleyway and they're on the platform that you can see behind Max in this scene. Of course I took some because who does not want bricks from Hawkins High? Also, not all of the interior is painted as this was once Stockbridge High and then later Patrick Henry High until 2015. The pool was honestly a little bit underwhelming, but then again, I did go in the winter. This is actually South Bend Pool in Atlanta, and on the way here, we passed Screen Gem Studios, where a lot of the interior scenes of the show are filmed, so that was pretty cool. Hawkins Lab is actually part of Emory, having once been the Georgia Mental Health Institute, and it is also set to be demolished. The Warzone Army Surplus store where Nancy runs into Jason was actually demolished after filming and is now the relocated Hodge Army Navy in Marietta. One of the employees told us that a lot of the merchandise seen in the show was their actual merchandise. The sign in this photo that I took appeared on the show, as did the blue lamp that you can see a bit of in the corner. The employee actually turned on the sign so I could get a picture, so that was pretty nice. The Creel House was the farthest from Atlanta, about an hour north in Rome, Georgia. The house was still for sale when I went, but it sold around a month later in December of 2022 for over a million dollars. Ironically, there's a funeral home across the street, and it's got a busy street in front of it, and it also has neighbors, so it's cool to see how the show makes it seem like it's so desolate. Penhurst Mental Hospital is not far, also being in Rome. It's actually Barry College, a private liberal arts school. The architecture is really beautiful and honestly had me wanting to apply just because of that.
Starcourt Mall in real life is Duluth's desolate Gwinnett Place Mall, which is set to be torn down and redeveloped. There's two doors in order to get in, and as you can see by these videos, I got in through the first set, as there was an employee who let us in that much. He offered to show us where filming took place for $40, and also told us how it now looks nothing like it did in the show, as other productions have since filmed there too. Like Hawkins High, most of the doors are blocked off by black painted wood, but here you can see that the innermost door to the food court still has the Star Court logo. Only three stores remain open, Macy's, Mega Mart, and the Beauty Master, which I went into. Anywhere where I could have seen into the mall was also blocked off. Bradley's Big Buy is actually Piggly Wiggly in Palmetto, and this is a location that I think made the most out of being a Stranger Things filming location. As soon as we entered, they had us sign a guest book for fans of the show, and they had a bunch of autographs as well as one of the Ego boxes that Eleven stole framed atop a freezer. Palace Arcade and Family Video are right next to each other in an abandoned building in Douglasville. The arcade was converted into one for the show, actually having been an old laundromat. Notice the dented pole, which also appears in the show. This is another place that you might want to bring your sharpie as people have signed all over. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and would like more like this, make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And who knows, maybe one of these days I'll go back to Georgia to get some of the other locations that I did not get in this trip. Bye!